Hello! Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a little while. Um, apologies, I didn't get to do my check-in video um, last week. Um, I was away in London all weekend. I didn't get back till like 11 o'clock Sunday night. Um, and then I was working already Monday. It's just been a manic week. Manic, manic week. Um, anyway, um, I have used the time that I've not been filming to make some changes to my binders. Um, so I thought today I would do um, a little walkthrough because I don't think I've ever done one um, of my binders and my new binders because I now have six. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I hope you um, enjoy it. So we're going to start with my, um, what I call my day-to-day week to week spending and that's my purple binder um so i do part uh, bank um online monies and some real monies i'll talk you through um although some of these might be in different accounts but predominantly these um binders are represented by what's in chase most of this is in chase um so Obviously, food, self-explanatory, uh, fuel and charging, again, self-explanatory, uh, family fun. So that's um, anything that any of us do for fun. Now, it doesn't have to be all. So let me start by saying start. This isn't the start. <laughs> I'm a couple of minutes in already. But if you don't know, we are a family of five. So there's me and my husband, and then we've got three children um, my oldest is going to be 17 next week and then my middle is 14 and my youngest is um, 11. So I've got boy, boy, girl um, and we are a very busy household. My husband works um, a shift rotor um, and they're always late shifts. So he's always out in the evenings um, and back really late. Um, I'm employed and self-employed. Um, so I work every hour that I'm not cooking, cleaning, looking after the children, being in their taxi for their variety of clubs. Um, I work, so yeah. <laughs> uh, so family fun is anything. So if any of us are out and it involves a child, then it comes out family fun. My self-care, again, is mine. Uh, my husband's got one, he has his in cash. Money for us is just time for me and my husband because, um, it doesn't happen very often and my husband works two weekends on and then has two weekends off but then has some time off during the week so you know we might go for lunch during the week um and things like that and then um you know if we do get an evening or something that comes from there school is everything related to uniforms trips um you know stationery bags stuff like that um is for school um, clothes, again, self-explanatory, health and beauty, so that's dentists, haircuts, shampoo, shower gels, you know, creams, potions, lotions, all of that sort of stuff um, comes from their home. Um, we are renovating the house. We've been renovating for um, a long time. <laughs> so probably about eight years we started um, and we've, we've only got a few rooms left before we like start them all over again um, so that's anything for the house um, so kids is their pocket monies so um, and then anything else that falls out of their pocket money so they get um, rewards for credits at school so if they're working really hard at school and they're getting credits at school then at the end of every term they get money for that um, yeah things like that so that's what that's for clubs again self-explanatory um so uh, they all do a variety of clubs and my daughter does a very expensive club um which you'll see a bit later um and we do a lot of traveling with that but she's at a very high level um and it's just something we choose to allow her to do um and then pets we've got a cat and a dog um we have a beagle. She's going to be too soon. She is a nightmare, um, but she's very lovable. And then we have a little Kit Kat um, who is three and he is cute. Um, so, so new additions to the binders is school food. So these, I've always had these pots. They've just never been represented in my binders. Um, so school food, food, 
is exactly what it says on the tin, um, food at school. Now, since we've been back, my middle has decided that um, canteen food is far too unhealthy. He's on a health kick and um, he now takes um, cooked food from home. So he'll make pastas or if there's like a curry left over or, you know, like quite pie left over, then he'll take, he'll warm it up in a, like a hot flask and he takes that. My son is, my oldest is doing his A-level, so he'll quite often go into the city. So actually I don't use this as much as I used to. Um, and bus passes, also new, but something I've always had, um, but never been represented in here. Um, and that's exactly, it's bus passes for the children to get into school. Um, but they, again, this has changed this year. I've got three at high school. They're all at the same school. It's in the city centre. Um, the buses are very unreliable and they're also really, really expensive. Um, so I think it worked out about £1,500 for the year for all of them to use the bus. And I'd probably say 70% of the time it wouldn't come. <laughs> So well, that's probably a bit unfair. I, let's give 50, 50, 50% 50 of the time. So I'm paying a lot of money for a bus pass when I'm still driving them to school. So predominantly I drive them and then my oldest has got one because his timetable is different. And then the other one gets like 10 time passes. It's kind of, it, it's working so far this term. So that's that one. And I'm aware I'm talking very fast, um, but there's a lot to get through. So this is my medium to long term sinking funds. So that's just my pink one. Um, again, some of these challenges have changed recently. Um, so I have recently say, had a tech one in here and that saved for a laptop for me. And I saved a thousand pounds for a laptop. Um, now my husband needs um, a phone. Um, now we don't generally buy new phones um, because there's five of us and that's like mega expensive. Um, so uh, we'll just get a secondhand phone on you know, like Music Magpie or something like that. Um, so I'm using Grounded Budget's Magic Beans to save £300 to get my husband a new phone. Uh, the 100 envelope challenge, uh, we're doing not in the conventional way, <laughs> um, but I'm saving the amounts and then I'll like condense them down, um, is to save for um, a new car, the balloon payment on a new car, on our, on our new car, um, and um, my hus my oldest's university. So my oldest will be starting university um, in less than two years now, um, which is quite scary. And we will need to assist his funding because he won't be fully funded. Um, so we have to, you know, allow for him to survive um, because he won't get his full student allowance thing. Um, so that's, we're using that, saves so 5,000 um, pounds. I'll save 250. Um, so this is on our Etsy store is for glasses. There's three of us that wears glasses. We've already completed it once and used it and now I'm doing it again. And then we've got two, two sorry, get my words out, two car maintenance funds. Um, we've got a little car, VW Golf, and then we've got an electric car um, and we're saving £800 and then £1,000. And this covers everything for the car, um, insurance, MOTs, um, servicing if it needs it, the electric doesn't need it um uh, but all of those things so it's literally everything related to the car all in one um, and then my save 2000 is for my daughter's dancing um so this is for costume shoes headpieces all of those things um because they are expensive um and that's a choice you know we've decided that we will allow she's been dancing for um so she started when she was five and she's 11 now so she's been dancing for six years and she's at world level so um we took her to worlds um this year um so yeah so that's for that um my oh travel savings so this is for holiday so this year we have booked um well we're going next year um to norway skiing which is just a dream um, so we're currently trying to save £5,000 for that and we are quite close. Um, and then I've got two rainy day pots. Um, so this is for our rainy day fund. The idea is we want to get to 10 grand by the end of next year. So that is money for um, if anything goes horrifically wrong. So my husband loses his job, he wants to leave his work 
all of those sorts of things. Um, so we do regular savings. So uh, we've got £250 a month in this one, which is drip fed from money that I already had in premium bonds. And then we add £300 into this one. Um, so we've got two months left. So each letter represents a month. And then it'll be 3,600 in this one and 3,000 in that one. So um, by March, we'll have 6,000. We'll have, well, actually, we'll have close to 7,000 pounds by March next year. So that's that. Um, and this is just a little bit of um, extra money for debt. So we do have debt. Um, we have about three and a half thousand pound of consumer credit card debt that we are still waiting to pay off. That's that one. Okay. And breathe. Um, so this is the really exciting one um, and I'm just aware that the lighting has gone so I need to talk even faster otherwise it's going to be dark. Um, so ooh, excited. So this is a new one. Um, so this is my annuals. Um, I've created this uh, with the help of um, Jen at Budgets and Dreams. Um, so I have one of her dashboards um, and she kindly sent me some envelopes. Um, these were her oopsie envelopes, but, you know, actually there's nothing wrong with them. <laughs> um, so uh, these are all our annuals. So you'll remember that I used to colour on and off um, of, a, of a tracker and we would always use it. And blah, blah, blah. So I decided I needed to split it because there were too many items in that annuals and I'll show you what they all are. So we'll also what I've done on top of that is I've created some little banners um, across all of them so we have got I'll put it down hopefully you can see it so we've got wood we've got a wood burner we use that more than um, gas heating so um, I've, I've put all of the items on here um, and then the goal for each one how much we've saved so far and when they're due so most of these are due next year um, we've already done all of the ones for this year other than the fact that we'll probably need some more wood um, before Christmas um, so yeah so we've got wood wills so that's our will um, so we have ha we have been adulting this year and we have done our wills we've sorted out um, uh, trust funds you know if if anything was to happen to Paul and I um, my husband and I and um, yeah so we've got a, um, we pay an annual amount for them to be um, kept up to date Salt, we have a, um, what's it called? Water softener, because we're in a really, really hard water area. Um, so that's salt. Uh, travel insurance, pet insurance, garden bins. So we have to pay for our garden waste to be taken away. It's not part of our council tax. Don't get me started on that one. Uh, wood again, but I've only got one wood in here. Prepayment certificates, so that's for me for um, NHS prescriptions. Uh, solar clean, so we have solar panels. Um, and we discovered last year they need to be cleaned. Uh, car breakdown cover, Disney Plus, home insurance. Um, we need to have the chimney swept once a year um, and then boiler cover. So these are all represented in here. So I've made my little, oh my God, it's got so dark. Um, so yeah, so pet insurance. So I've done all of the little banners in here for those which is great um so that's that one and then we have got um in my blue binder again i've mixed this up a bit so i've split work um because actually work covers a lot so i've done a very similar thing i just don't have a dashboard for work um i didn't think about that uh, when i was doing my ordering so um i've got business insurance tax um so i get taxed on my employed work but i have to pay tax on my self-employed work um so tax tax and more tax and then i've got software that i need to buy and microsoft that i will need to buy i've literally just done this so um that's why that's there and then we've got kind of special occasions which is you know birthdays christmas mother's day father's day easter all of those things um, so we've got Christmas funding, which I've nearly finished. Um, and I ha so I have got some more trackers coming, um, but they're not quite here yet. And one of them has got a Christmas. So once I finish this, I'll do that. Um, I am not done for Christmas. I am not there yet. I started this too late. 
Um, and then we've got some birthdays. So we've got my daughter's birthday and my son's birthday, which I have actually spent. Um, so that'll come out. Um, yeah, so that's going to be kind of cover all of those. And then we get to the fun ones. So I now have, I am a person who has two challenge binders. Yes, I do. So I have one. So I've, I've taken them um, and completely separated them from all of my digital stuff because there was, was a bit kind of mix and match. So my yellow is my dice games. Um, so I've finished knockout nine. That was in the front here. So I've, I've taken it out. I haven't done anything with the money yet because I'm waiting to finish another challenge um, so I can do them two together. So I did have knockout nine here. And then I've got rock, paper, scissors, a mini, nice cha mini dice challenge from Studio Budget Co. Sudoku roll and then the challenge that we're in the process of making. So my son's made this. So it saves 7,000 with seven dice. Um, and this is for a big holiday for mine and my son's big birthdays. And that'll be towards the end of next year. Um, so that's the plan. Um, so we've got, uh, so the seven challenges. Um, so we've got challenge 222, 333, 444, challenge 555, challenge 666, and the newest one, which is challenge 1000, which we have realised <laughs> is yellow on yellow, and it's quite hard to see. Um, so he's going to do the last one, and then he might come back and amend this. Um, and plus the fact it has just got really, really dark. <laughs> Oh, I did not anticipate the light change. Um, so that's those ones. Now, some of these challenges will be saving for specific things. So I'm hoping that I can get the Sudoku roll done. So um, for our holiday in February, we need to stay overnight um, at the airport because uh, we're going to Gatwick and um, we'll need to pay for parking. So I haven't factored that in. So I'm hoping like some of these challenges... Um, will pay for those um yeah i'm just not quite sure when they'll be finished and if they'll be finished in time or save enough so if it's not some of them challenges it'll be this in here um yeah and a lot of these challenges at the moment don't all have a purpose um but they'll either go into my sinking funds or you know if there's anything that we need at that time so this is my second um, save, uh, challenge, savings challenge, challenge binder. Yeah, the cash one. So these, this is all cash. Um, so the cash I use um, from any additional money that I haven't budgeted for, for my work, um, you know, anything that we've sold, you know, things like that. Uh, so we've got Pumpkin Love, which we've very nearly finished. Um, that again is from Studio Budget Co., I think. Apologies if it's not um, a saving spell uh, from that budget chick. Uh, we've got an autumn challenge, uh, which I'm halfway through. Uh, Harvest Moon from Grounded Budgets, which I've just started. Um, Score a Girl, which is on my Etsy store. Um, my son made this, so that says £40. And that will be towards his football boots. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do this and I'll probably do it twice. By the time I've done it, he will need new football boots. So that's exactly what this is going to save for. Um, grow my money uh, from the still trying mama um, I have condensed this um, so it's got 15 pound in there um, and then I've put some new challenges in so I've got um, the positivity pack from grounded budgets uh, which I want to start and that saves 60 pounds and then I have got the gorgeous 2024 challenge um, from that budget Lux. Uh, which saves twenty uh, two thousand and twenty four pounds um, in twenty twenty four, so next year. But I am tempted to start this early. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this is for. Um, I think it will probably be a large ticket item in the house. So we do really need a new sofa um, and a new carpet. <laughs> so, and I haven't decided if I'm doing this in all cash or all digital or a bit of both. I don't know yet, um, but I love it and I think it's awesome. So that's, that's that one. It's just, it's gorgeous. Um, and then I do have a little vacation fund at the back here, which has just got £10 in, which I use for my, when I do my jar of chances. Um, and that's literally, I have a jar oop, that has tickets in. And on these have different areas um, that I want to fill up. So like that one's tech. Um, 
holidays. So if I pick that out, that would go in here um, because we're having a um, so extended family holiday, um, hopefully in April, hopefully, if I can save enough money. But it'll only be me and the younger two that will go on it um, just because of the timings of it. Um, so, yeah, so I want to try and save that through cash if I can. We'll see. Um, so that is a really quick whistle, whistle top, stop, whistle stop tour. Sorry, bad wording. Um, of all of my bind whoop, all of my binders. So I am now that person who has six binders. <laughs> um, two for two for um, challenges and and games and fun things, and then some like adulting things and just day to day spending. Um, and I'm really sorry that I chose to start recording as the sun was setting and it has got really dark. <laughs> I will try and do better next time um, because my light's not plugged in. Blada, blada, blada. <laughs> Sorry. So that was a look through my binders. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with um, a check-in for week four of October before we then start afresh for November. November for me is going to be a five-week month. Um, but that's okay because I have planned for it. So that's good. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you got to the end and listening to me babble and talking really, really fast, um, I really do appreciate it. Um, if you're not already, please do subscribe um, and leave me a comment um, and like the video so other people can find it. Um, thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.